G'day guys, welcome back. I am going to do a three flip and drag acrylic pour today. What do you think of that, hey? It's been a little while so I thought I'd do one. Now the colours that I'm using today are basically the same colours that I used for this swipe that I did the other day. Did you guys see this? I, and I said when I was doing this, I said, oh, that, I wonder what they'd be like as a flip cut pour. So that's what I'm doing today. The only thing is this one has got some black in it. Oh, I shouldn't touch that. It's not quite dry in the middle yet. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of black in it. Oh, let me make you autofocus. Come on, autofocus. Oh, my gosh. Trials of videoing. Let's autofocus. And then I can do that with it. Hey, how's that? So looking really pretty. Love these colours together and as I said it's going to be the same but um, without the black. What happens if I keep it on autofocus? Whee! <laughs> I don't know. I better not because it might jump around. You know sometimes it, <clears throat> it jumps if it's on autofocus so I'll just leave it on this. Right, um, pouring medium, my usual, 60% glue, 40% water, and I've mixed them a little bit thinner this time. I've got 50 grams of pouring medium, and instead of 50 grams of paint, I've gone 40 grams of paint, just because I want them a little bit, want the mix a little bit thinner. I think, um, and, well, I'm pretty sure that might, might have been making their paints a little bit thicker lately, I don't know why, but I just, I think they're a bit thicker. So I've got... Uh, Burnt Sienna, Naples Yellow, Grey, um, Payne's Grey. Now, most of these colours I've made myself um, because Montmart don't make them. But, you know, for the Payne's Grey, and I'll start off with some navy, uh, phthalo blue, add a bit of black, add a little bit of purple, and just till I get the colour that I want. So it leaves a tiny little mound. The um, trace has gone in like one to two seconds. I think that's a little bit thick. Yeah, one that one to two seconds, the trace stays on top. So I've made them a little bit thinner, as I said. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm using spot-on treadmill silicone for the cells, this one, as I always do. And, um, yeah... <clears throat> So this is a 40 by uh, 30 by 40 centimeter canvas, 12 by 16 inch, and I know that it takes 700 grams of mixed paint. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors, 100 grams in each, 700. Easy. So now, if you don't want to watch me mixing paint and layering cups, now's a good idea to you can move like fast forward. I'm just going to do three drops. I won't do the whites. I've got two whites, as you can see. The white is my only opaque colour. Actually, the grey may be as well because it's got a lot of... It probably, actually, it probably is. <laughs> because it's got black and white in it and they're both opaque, so I've stuck it there in the middle. Um, yeah, the, the opaque colours just help to create pretty cells because they're heavier and they drop down... Um, to the background and then the lighter semi-transparent colors pop through uh, creating the cells so but I am just helping it along with the um, silicone oil some pretty cells I just want to make sure they're all the same consistency that one's a little bit on the thick side too so I probably probably could have done um, Mm, maybe 50 grams to 30. I think I'll play around with my pouring medium. Instead of making it 60-40, I might try 55-45. Um, see, because, yeah, I, I keep having issues with this paint. Like, I'm not getting the cells that I used to get back in the day when I first started. Because, um, yeah, the paint just seems to be thicker than it used to be. So my cells are smaller. 
Um, they're kind of a little bit blurry. Now they're not nice and clean circles. So what I've got to do is I'll do the flip and drag. I'm going to cover the canvas, most of the canvas anyway, depending on what the cells look like. And then torch. So that's my plan. Right, let me get my gloves on. And as I said, if you don't want to watch me layer, I'm just going to layer the three cups there. Uh, fast forward and catch up with me in a few minutes. Okay, so two layers of each colour. The white I've left it a little bit thicker. I did 50 grams of paint and 50 grams of pouring medium. Um, I tend to lose the white when I'm doing these. The white kind of vanishes, so I thought I'll keep it a little bit thicker. It's kind of like when you're using a metallic paint. You have to have it thicker than your other colours. It's a bit squishy down here. Oh, great, it feels a little bit thinner now. <laughs> oh, I added water, I probably made it too thin now. And then I've got the navy. I thought that would look really pretty. Paints grey against the grey. And then back to the white. And then we've got this um, turquoise. It's actually turquoise mixed with a bit of phthalo blue to give like a bluey turquoise. I really love that colour. It's one of my favourites. And then black back to the white again. Oops, I've got a little bit left. Um, I probably should have put this down next because now I've got white turquoise and white. Oh well. No matter. And then just use up whatever I've got left. Like so. And then the yellow again. I didn't want to put the yellow with the blues, obviously, because they go green. So I've kind of put the, the warm colours up this end and then the cool colours up the other end. I'm separating them with white. Um, <clears throat> yep, still working. So yeah, just um, got the grey next to the yellow because I think that would look pretty rather than the you know, the paint's grey because then we're going to get the green, probably, you know, get a little bit of green anyway because it's it's liquid and um, they're going to mix around in the cup. So most likely get a bit of green anyway. I just don't want too, too much green. In my swipe, I've got little bits of green, which is fine. It looks quite nice. I think I'm going to put the turquoise on top of the Payne's Grey with this last one and then top it with white. Because the white, which is going to be my last colour, when I flip my cups upside down, the white will be on the canvas. And you kind of lose that colour a little bit, your last colour, because it's stuck on the bottom of the canvas. So I'd rather it be the white. So I've got enough of that. I've got two of them. Hopefully this is going to work. <laughs> and then after this, I've got an idea of a coaster that I want to do with butterflies. Not real butterflies. <laughs> so that is what I'm going to do after this, Paul. Got the day off, so got the day off work. So um, yeah, I'm going to create. You can see how much thicker this is. Normally the white with Montmartre is much thinner than the other colours, but again, it seems to be much thicker. I must ask them if they've changed their consistency. But I don't know if, like, just the people at the office would know. I don't think they would even realise, you know, if, if they've changed anything. So it doesn't matter. It's done. Whatever they've done to it's done. I'll just have to change my recipe to make it all a little bit thinner. Right, here we go. One, two, three. I love doing that. Love flip cup pulls. Probably my favorite thing to do. 
Right, I'll give that a minute. I haven't put any um, silicone spray in the cups. I think there's enough silicone in, in the paint. <clears throat> I've got my palette knife to do my sides. I've got my corner catcher to catch my corners. <laughs> oh, now I've got paint on my corner catcher. <laughs> All right, are we getting any cells yet? Are we? Woo. So hopefully this is... Um, is thin enough now I've made it thin enough with a one to two second trace like I used to do a three second trace and it was it used to work fine but it's just not doing it anymore so something has changed right are we ready let's do this flip and drag and then a little bit on the corners that always get that blob there never mind all right here we go I'm gonna tip my cup a little bit more the paint from here won't drip into it because I think that's what it does it drips from there into there it's gonna cover that corner we don't need to now I've got my corner catcher anyway I'm gonna have my corners covered So these two got a lot more blue in them. This one's got like a more, let's see that greeny shade there? That's the um, the turquoise and the yellow together, I think, doing that, which is fine. I don't mind that. I was expecting that. Okay. Got my torch, but I'm not going to torch just yet. I'm going to tilt. I guess oh, they're very similar, but there's bigger areas there that need covering, so we'll cover there first. So to get down there, don't just go straight down because you're going to lose all of this before that's even got to, to there. So you need to do this. You need to walk your paint, and then you walk it over there, and you walk it over there until it's covered. And then I'm going to put the corner catcher on because I want to keep as much paint as possible on the canvas. See, that's gone over there now. It's a bit of an icky colour, that one. Icky. But hopefully we'll get pretty cells coming up through there. Catch that. Okay. Bring the weight of the paint to the middle um, I can see some of the sienna color under there so I need to cover this so let's go that this way I'm actually gonna stop it there bring the weight of the paint back to the middle and I'm going to torch and get some cells up. And then all I have to do is just move the paint a little bit just to go over that edge there. And by doing that, it'll stretch the cells ever so slightly um, without hopefully overstretching them is the plan. My color corner's all done. Yep, pretty good. Okay, here we go. Nice and high, gentle heat. Not too much. Round and round. Gee, it's still, it's looking pretty thick, like my cells aren't popping up and going, woo, I'm here, let's party. You know, they're, um, they're still taking their time, but we'll see, see what happens. I was expecting them to just jump up and announce themselves because my mix is so much thinner. We have to get a little bit closer maybe. Oh, that was a lot of 
the cell. See, I got really close there, got a bit close. I'm playing chicken with the paint. Where the white is, see how the white is so much thicker? Um, I probably won't get much in there because it is thicker. leave that for a minute see the cells when they pop up they're still quite small which is weird I um yeah I thought I'd made it thin enough but normally see, but but you can stretch them this is a thing if, if you have small cells to begin with you can stretch them as long as you don't over stretch them just a little bit I've got a bit of a cluster here, and I don't like that blobby thing there, but I don't think I'll be able to get all the way back down there. I might have to stick my finger in him. So what we're doing is just walking the paint again to go over the edge there, cover that little bit, and that will stretch these cells out. I think I want to get a few more cells just in there. No, it's not letting me. That's really weird. Okay, one it must be that... Um, Payne's grey or the other grey that's still too thick. Okay, here we go. Let's unstick you from the... You can see the paint's in the middle there. So just gently back and forth until you get over, over and there's plenty of paint on the surface. So it will let you do that. So there's no way I'm going to get all the way back down here again because those will just overstretch. So I'm not even going to attempt to that. No. So once you've done that, just leave it. Just leave it. So what do you think? Actually, this one doesn't look too bad now. <laughs> Um, the grey, the grey, the grey. Hmm, don't know. I might leave him out next time. So we've got this area here that looks a bit kind of brownish. This is amazing. Look at that. I, I don't even mind that pale green that's popped up. And this, I love this too, because it's got that turquoise that goes around like that. We've got some gorgeous yellow cells. It's just this middle bit that I'm not that happy with just going to take off a few more of those okay there we go now I wonder if now that I've stretched the paint I can get a few more cells popping up sometimes you can like once the paint is thinned out a little bit you can torch again and get a few more cells not always but sometimes because when it's so thick it's difficult for the cells to pop through so just seeing if I can get a few more here and there oh, yeah, it's working look at that we're getting them yeah oh that's really pretty now see these ones have come up through here I've got some yellow ones through there and then so we've got some white through there. And we've got that variation in size. We've got some big ones, some little ones. Yep, love it. And we've got through this um, Payne's Grey here. I'll bring you down for close-up. There's some gorgeous little um, of the Sienna ones here. And these, the little yellow with the grey rings, they are so pretty. Let me get you down and I'll show you what I mean because you probably can't see them from up there. Just get my gloves off. Oh, there we go. Turn the ring light off. Oops. Yep, that was the ring. Yep, that was the ring light. I thought I turned the wrong light off for a sec. It's a bit glary when I come around here. Okay. So that's it from my perspective. As I said, I really love this third here. Definitely going again, and I'll take the grey out. So I don't mind that bit of turquoise. All right, let's start down here. 
really pretty cells. Now, it looks blue through my screen. It's not. It's, it's a beautiful turquoise shade. And then where the white is there, it goes into a lighter turquoise. But it's just not picking it up. When I put my photo up, I'll, you'll be able to see the true colour. And on there, there are those little gorgeous cells I was telling you about that's popped up in the Payne's Grey there. Aren't they cute? Mm, and then down here, down the bottom there, I got a bit close with the torch, so I've got quite a lot of cells, but they're really pretty. And then I torched afterwards, and these little guys came up. Look at that, we've got multicoloured rings around some of them and where else where else where else oh there those are the yellow ones i was telling you about that came up so pretty i love it when you get the multicolored cells I don't know if you can pick up that little bit of a pale greeny turquoise that's coming through there. Look at the yellow ones. They're so cute. So there we go. Um, will I do it again now? No, I'm not going to do it again now. I want to get my resin butterflies done. But I will do these again and uh, take out that grey. Mm. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.